for today is going to be a little bit different is that we're also going to take some blood samples of Kanisa. Hello, my second. Hello, Lummy. <laughs> Hello. What more, gay? What more, gay? Hello. So the reasoning behind bl the blood samples that we um, are taking of Kanhisa today is that Dr. Ricky is a, a pediatrician who specializes in neonates and he started assisting us um, during lockdown. He was actually a guest also at Jabulani uh, and I've had a conversation with him. Um, and looking after some of the uh, peer-reviewed articles that was published actually in June this year by Prof. Osthoff from the University of the Free State, there were um, new okay, developments in um, the milk samples that they took from various um, elephant orphan ach, not elephant orphans elephants that had mothers but all from um, captive um, elephants where they looked at your milk samples analyzed that and what's so lovely about these um, samples that they've got that they also have the ages of the elephants with the milk so the milk samples got an age of the calf, um, you know, that's attached to that, which is essential for us as the milk evolves and changes over the period of um, the basically three years until they went even at the age of four. Now that article was scrutinized by Dr. Hedwig and Dr. Ricky and they also have dietitians that assisted them. So some of the milk supplement that uh, Kanisa is on we're not able to get anymore as they stopped the manufacturing um, of the milk supplement so we have to to relook at what alternatives do we have and then also as i said you know bearing in mind that the milk changes um, over the the whole period of um where they they suckle um, so you get from the ages of five months from zero to five months then it changes um, until a year and then from a year upwards uh, it is again changing so that is very important you know for us to know um, exactly how and when we need to change and it is also as that dr Ricky, you know, says, um, you know, dealing with your new nates is that it's not just to look at what is happening now, you know, gaining weight that we look at weekly and when they're small, we even do it, um, we weigh the little ones three times a week in order to see if they gain enough um, weight. Um, but it is also in the long run to have a healthy elephant um, and you know excellent development hello whoops so this long tall grass is actually a feast for Kanisa. 
especially all these seeds. But for Kanisa, without really knowing it, she will stay in a little bit longer today. And um, because Dr. Rogers has to come in, and that's the kind of sad part. I've tried to take some blood samples while she was sleeping. Um, however, she's so sensitive, you know, even in those years, it's, it's very easy to get a butterfly needle in because they're so thin. However, they are short. So even with the slightest movement of Kanisa, the needle pulls out. Um, so with Dr. Rogers, we'll do a decent uh, blood, um, uh, you know, samples and send that off. I'm actually taking no chances and I'm sending it off to two labs in order to see, you know, um, and that is part of, you know, monitoring Kanisa, but also not only monitoring for the future of elephant orphans um, to know exactly what is your pre-albumin, what is your total proteins, uh, what is your magnesium, calcium, um, all your levels, because that is, is essential for developing of an elephant. Let me see. Let me see. That is part of some of the, the pumpkins. So she really likes eating some of those pumpkins. So we'll keep you updated. We'll have, take some some video in today's activities which I said is slightly different from a normal day for Kanisa not knowing what's lying ahead of her but it will make huge um, it, ha it will have a huge impact in the long run if we can to see exactly what is the levels and then what the levels should be if the changes in milk formula and getting a new um, uh, milk supplement. So that's kind of the sad thing is how things come on the market but then also once they're off the market, it's actually a huge, um, got a huge impact, even on a little elephant. We maybe, your manufacturers never thought of that their milk supplement would be used for, for elephants. It really helped us a lot with Kanisa, but also not only with Kanisa, with Mpani. So we're starting actually maybe from scratch. Yeah, now she knows exactly who you are. Yeah, she's a bit slim, eh? 
Kijk hoe vast haar oor slurp. She's putting her trunk into her mouth. Because she smelled you now. She's... Come Lapsy. Come my second. Good. Very sharp guy. Very sharp guy. No, no, we're bringing her. There's the bottle. We'll bring her into um, the orphanage. Come, Lamy. Come, Lamy. Come, Lamy. Come, Lamy. Come, Lamy. Come, 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 come. Come, Lamy. Come. You can stand outside a bit. Come and stand outside, but she's in the well, the last bit. Give it the last bit inside. We want the the veins for the blood, okay. so it must be hot. So give her that she that the bigger the veins, the easier the blood. Okay. So it's good to stand a bit in the sun that she's hot. Because her veins are small at the moment. Come, I see Come. Take it.
stones that I look like a sweet bell. I'm hoping I want to look at it. I'm just a bit busy. If you can see the mouth, just eat our shoulders the mouth. And that is like, you know, we uh, her muscles relax because of the tranquilizer. So she's getting sleepy. But her trunk is a little bit still too active for Dr. Rogers to you know, EDTI quickly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how far. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's all good. Ja, 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 dit. Hij vis. En een papa. Dat ook weer. Um, the mud from I see all of them. It's not mud. Oh, we're just down there. Okay.
going now. Thanks for helping with the forms, Owen. Um, you go, it's fine. 